हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पाइपिंग इंजीनियर्स दिस इज पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ नेट पॉजिटिव सक्शन हेड इन फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एन पी एस एच ए एंड एन पी एस एच आर वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन एन पी एस एच ए एंड एन पी एस एच आर हैज बिन डिस्कस्ड इन दैट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल नो हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट नेट पॉजिटिव सक्शन हेड वट इज द फॉर्मूला रिक्वायर्ड टू कैलकुलेट नेट पॉजिटिव सक्शन हेड वट आर द वेरियस टर्म्स एसोसिएटेड इन द फॉर्मूला फर्दर विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए ब्लॉक डायग्राम वी विल लर्न how do we calculate each and every term of npsh calculation for more videos please like follow and subscribe our channel so let's begin our today's video and see which formula is used to calculate npsh <coughs> so and this is the, the friends this is the basic formula which you would have seen uh, across the internet across your textbook so this formula comes whenever we type how do we calculate net positive suction head so by look by looking at the formula it it feel, it seems that it is very tough but if i'll be de describing the each and every term associated with the formula and uh, after my after this video i hope you will be clear about the npsh available calculation so the first term in uh, first term which is mentioned here is ha so what this ha is ha is absolute pressure on the surface of liquid in the supply tank so each and every tank that is filled with water atmospheric pressure is being exerted on the tank so uh, this is nothing but that atmospheric pressure which is being exerted on the liquid uh, liquid surface of the tank but this uh, this ha varies from tank to tank but if if we are having a tank in which there is vacuum so ha will be zero there but if a tank is exposed to atmosphere ha will be one atmosphere there so this this ha stands for the value of atmospheric pressure which is being exerted on the surface of the liquid in the tank so the next term which is plus minus hz so what this hz means hz is the vertical distance between the surface of liquid in the supply tank and the center line of the pump so if if i cut it to simple cut it in simple words this hz means hz is the static suction head so this static suction head is positive if my pump is having positive suction so this value is positive here and if it is negative if my pump is having negative suction so friends while calculating this uh, net net positive suction and available we have to make sure and we have to see that whether my pump is positive suction or negative suction pump it can be either positive or it can be either negative depending upon the suction of the pump so while like designing this uh, designing my npsh it is always my my hz static head is taken from the lowest level allowed in the allowed in the tank so it is like it is to design in a safer way the static head is calculated not from the center line of the pump up to the surface of the liquid but it is taken from low water level to the surface of the liquid so in this way my design becomes more proficient and neck to neck design is uh, is eliminated in this process so this is how this is what hz stands for so next is hf hf are frictional losses in the suction piping so whenever my pump is sucking from a tank so it may be around it may be uh, it may be around 2 meters away from my tank or it may be in 2 meters height from the tank so there are many uh, many fittings involved in the uh, piping system up to the pump suction port so there may be there may be a frictional loss in those uh, those fittings so this hf is the more, uh, first negative value that is being subtracted from ha plus minus hz uh, minus hf so the frictional losses which are occurring in my piping system up to my suction port of the pump is hf next is hv hv is velocity headed pump suction port generally what happens is this value is very small and often designers neglect this value and they don't even they don't even calculate this value while calculating the net positive suction head so next term and the most important term is minus hvp so what this hvp is absolute vapor pressure of the liquid at the pumping temperature so friends when hvp when the this term hvp comes in picture hvp uh, you we all know that if the pressure of water falls below the vapor pressure of the liquid water starts boiling and if a pump is pumping uh, suppose a pump is pumping up water at temperature of 20 degree celsius the vapor pressure for that liquid may be different and if a pump is pumping at water of 100 degree celsius so the vapor pressure of that liquid may be different because the problem comes because this is a subtracting term from the uh, from other two terms so what happens is if the temperature of water is high vapor pressure also increases so like th uh, th this is written here as the temperature goes up so does the vapor pressure 
so while calculating your net positive suction head you have to make sure what are your pump suction pump sucking conditions if your pump is taking the water at 100 degrees celsius or if your pump is taking a water at 500 degrees celsius so it the temperature the vapor pressure of both the liquids will be different as the temperature of the uh, temperature of inlet water is different in both the conditions so this hvp plays a very important role in the calculation of net positive suction head so let's see with the help of a sketch how to calculate the values so the complicated formula which i have mentioned in the last slide i have simplified it here and i hope uh, by uh, looking at this formula it would be relieving for you all so this is p atmosphere which uh, which was meant which was termed as ha this is h static head this was termed as hs which is plus minus again you see this is hf minus frictional loss hv i already said that hv is a very small value and designers uh, neglect that value they don't even consider that value while calculating this net positive suction head so we ha i have neglected this value and last term that was hvp that is vapor pressure of water so this is the basic uh, basic formula which you can write at your in your notebooks and get calculate and calculate this net positive suction head so with the help of this sketch let me tell how what what different terms are so first of all it is static head so static head this 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 term positive head and negative head so as i have already told you in last slide that if my pump is having this positive suction if my pump is sucking from a height and the water is flowing by the motion of gravity into the up to the pump center line up to the pump center line so i will be having this positive static head so if this will be a positive value but in the other case if my pump is sucking from uh, if the center if the baseline of tank is below the center line of the pump suppose this is the center line of the pump and this is my top of the liquid and the pump has to suck pump has to work negative against the gravity so my my static head would become negative in this case so depending upon the location of your tank while calculating net positive suction head you have to make sure that whether your static head is positive or negative so the next term which is given here is p atmosphere but p atmosphere is is this fluid surface pressure as i already told you that atmospheric pressure is always exerted on my fluid whether it's in any tank atmospheric pressure will be there so this p atmosphere is the fluid surface pressure so next is frictional loss so in this in this case you can see there are there are large number of fittings pipings this is a fitting this is a fitting this is a fitting again this are the this is a fitting this is a fitting and there will be a gate wall as it's positive as it's suction side of the pump so all these all these fittings will have a frictional head loss so we have to subtract this frictional head loss from the total atmospheric pressure plus or minus that is your static head and this frictional loss so this this uh, state frictional loss in your suction side uh, is, is subtracted from your uh, atmospheric pressure or plus minus static head so next is vapor pressure vapor pressure as i told you in my last slide also it depends upon the it depends upon the properties of liquid if if i if if my if i am pumping a liquid of 20 degrees celsius my vapor pressure will be less or if i will be pumping a liquid of 500 degrees celsius my vapor pressure will be more and if my, and as the value of as the temperature will go on my vapor pressure will also increase and this value has it as it starts become becoming larger my nksh available calculation will become smaller so while calculating this net positive suction head make sure about your vapor pressure make sure about the temperature from which you you from which you are pumping so this is about net positive suction head here yeah, before concluding the video i want to i want to make clear about the um, units many people get confused in the units of this net positive suction head so make sure that your all the units are in meter water column because most of pump suppliers they offer you net positive suction head required in meter water column so p atmosphere that is 1 kg or one atmosphere it is equal to 10 meter water column static head you should you should always calculate in meter water column which is very easy to calculate frictional head loss again you should calculate in meter water column and vapor pressure unit of vapor pressure is torr but by a simple multiplication factor torr can be converted into meter water column so make sure that while calculating net positive suction head your units are correct and your units unit due to your units you don't calculate a wrong wrong net positive suction head 
so give all the values uh, pro, uh, calculate all the values in meter water column and then calculate net positive suction head and and it is also as i told you in, in my previous video that is net positive suction head part 1 my net positive suction head available should always be greater than net positive suction head required then only my problem of cavitation will be stopped otherwise otherwise a problem of cavitation will be there in my pump or my pump will not but properly work and malfunctioning of pump will take place so friends i hope i hope you would have understand ab about this net positive suction head which we have discussed in today's video and for for more videos and for more updates please like follow and subscribe our channel please let us know in any comment section if you have any queries or any feedback regarding the video so friends thank you thank you for watching the video thanks a lot